today. Uh, this is Peter, who's just interested in joining us as a new volunteer, so that's why he's come in. I'm just about to explain things to him. Welcome to Rolvan and Signal Box. Now, every Signal Box is the same in principle, but different in detail. So I'll just run through what you find in a, typically in a Signal Box. First of all, you've got a diagram. And that shows the layout for which the signalman is responsible, uh, with the equipment marked marked on it. Then we have what we call the frame, and all these levers uh, work the equipment, and the different coloured levers indicate different types of equipment. So red levers are for signals, black levers are for points, um, brown levers are control levers, uh, that particular one down there controls access to a siding, the other side of the level crossing. And white levers are spare, they don't do, do anything. Uh, and blue levers are locks, and they lock the points so that the points can't accidentally move while the train's going over them. And the levers go down into the locking room downstairs, and then they're attached to wires and to rodding. Uh, which goes up and down the line, and that works the equipment. So as we pull a lever, so we're pulling a signal up or down or moving the blades of points across. A few of them now are worked electrically, so when you have a short handle, that means it's done by electricity. There's no physical effort involved. When you have a, a tool handle, that means I'm actually working the equipment physically. Mm -hmm. Now downstairs, we call it the locking room because Underneath the frame there's a, there's a tray that runs the length of the frame and it's got a series of notches cut into it and the notches prevent you from working levers in any combination that would be inherently unsafe. So for example if I've cleared a signal for a train to go one way and then absentmindedly I try to clear a signal for a train to go in the opposite direction um, it won't work. I'll give you an example of that. Um, if I try and clear this signal, you can see it won't move. And the reason it won't move is because those points are set the wrong way. But if I try and move that one, it will move because, because those points are set the right way. Uh -huh. So that's, that's the beauty of locking, and it saves us over and over again from making silly mistakes. So that, that's how we avoid inherently unsafe mistakes. But sometimes something might be temporarily unsafe, um, and then we have this thing which we call a collar. Technically, it's called a reminder appliance, and we can pop that on the col on the lever to remind us not to work it because there's some temporary problem or some temporary reason why it shouldn't be worked. And when that situation is over, we can simply take that off again, and it's it's free to work. Then along here, we call the block shelf, all these dials, which we call repeaters, they are telling the signalman things that he needs to know but he can't necessarily see. <coughs> now, when I work one of the signal levers, I need to be sure that the signal is doing what I want it to do. Probably. <laughs> and the most obvious way of working that out is to look out of the window and see. Oh, yeah. So that, that one... Um, I'll just change the points I'm going to get for you. If you look at that signal outside the window, as soon as I work lever 21, the signal goes up. So I can look out to the window, I can check, and then when I put it back to danger, again, I can look out to the window and check that it's done what I want it to do. But some of the signals I can't see. Number 29 and number 30, they're right, those are those two signals. They're around the corner and halfway up the hill to tend to them, yeah. so I can't see them. So we have a repeat, and that tells me what the signal is doing. On means it's a danger, and off means proceed. So that's why we have these, these repeaters, so we know what things are doing. And then finally, the two machines in the corner, which we call token instruments. That's our system for ensuring that on a single line, you only have one train at a time. And the way we do that is that these things are called tokens. We get one of these out and give it to the driver. Put it, put it in a pouch like this, give it to the driver. 
And that's his authority to go onto the single line. Now I can only get one of those out by cooperation with the signalman at the next signal box. So this machine has an identical machine at Wittisham, the next signal box down the line, and it needs both signalmen to work together to get one of these out. And once one is out, the system will never let you get another one out until that one's gone back in. So there can only ever be one out at a time, and therefore if the driver's got it, he knows it's safe to go onto the single line, and he can't meet a train coming the other way. If he goes onto the single line without one of those, he gets the sack. Now the reason we've got lots of them is so that we can send more than one train in a row in the same direction. So I could get one of these out with the next signalman's cooperation, send a train to Wittisham. When the train gets there, the driver gives the token to the signalman there. He puts it back into the machine there. And then I can get another one out here and send another train down to Wittisham. And I could go on doing that all day until either I run out of tokens or we run out of trains. And that instrument is exactly the same principle. The reason it looks different, it's an older design. And we're trying to preserve on this railway different stages of heritage. So we use that machine between here and Tenterden and this machine between here and Wittisham. They both do the same thing. They just look different because that's an older, an older design. Number 21, that's that signal out there, yeah. so you see how easy like that the is. Trigger at the back oh, yeah. to unlock it. Like this? Yep, and then pull it towards you. Take out the trigger. Yeah. Okay, and have a look at the signal. Signal's oh, off. Yes. Now you can put it back. Now we we'll change the point. So we do the blue lever, number 24. This one? Yes, put that back. That unlocks the point. It's a bit heavier. And now try the black lever, which is even harder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing very well. Not many people manage that. Oh, it's not a bit. Not quite. <laughs> Again. Anybody else wants to go on it? No, 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 no. let them do it, let them do it. This is going to be a lot of them. Yeah! Ah, to Maria, to Now, the secret, of course.